took your pre-generation Kirby apart, then this is the video for you. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. So don't forget everything used in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. So make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Hi right, Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, we took apart that Legend 2. If you haven't seen that, I will put an archive above a link into that video. In today's video, we're going to be getting this Legend 2 back together and see how she runs. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Before we start getting this Legend 2 back together, it will be a tutorial, but it will be time lapse when I tighten up the screws and any bolts. Now, there's a few things you're going to need. So first up, you're going to need your cup of coffee and you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and a little tub of grease. Now if you haven't repacked your bearings, there is a video that I will link to, so make sure you watch that if you want to repack the bearings before you reassemble your Kirby. As well as that, you're going to need a new fan. Now with your fans, the fans you can buy are identical for the G series and the Legend 2. The only difference being is the spindle is a little bit longer, so you can't use a generation one. You can use the fan, but not the spindle. And also you'll notice in the packet, you've got a little rubber seal. So you know you've got the wrong one because you'll have a little rubber seal in the packet and that will be for a generation. For the Legend 2, all you get is the spindle, a washer, and your little grease cup for your front bearing and your fan. So this is the one you require and there will be a link in the description below of where to get these from. All right, I'll quickly just show you what I've just said, the spindle. So this is a G series spindle and this is a Legend 2 spindle. And as you can see, there's about a quarter of an inch difference. If you put one of these on, it's gonna catch on the front of your belt lifter. So let's dive in and start getting this Legend 2 back together. All right, so the first part, make sure this is fully clean. So make sure you've definitely blew it out with a hose or something. You're gonna have your little washer, which you're just gonna drop in the middle like so, and then we've got our armature, and we're just gonna slot that straight in. Okay, that's turning nice. Right, so now we've got our main body. So you've got the top here. You want your earth strap at the top, and it just slides in like so. Okay, with your earth strap, you might have to just feed it through, just so it lines back up there. We won't put that screw in yet, but we'll put our four screws in the back. Right, so what I like to do first is just put a little bit of silicon spray just in each of those holes. It just makes it easy for those screws to go in so you're not gonna round them off and they're not gonna cross thread. So gently screw them in by hand first just to make sure that they're not cross threading. Then once they're not cross threading, tighten them up.
Right, so we've got the original brushes here and there's literally probably an eighth of an inch missing off them, that's all. So we're gonna reuse these, there's no point replacing them. So you're gonna poke that in there, push that down, and the black one goes on the top. So what you're gonna do is push that down, press it down with the screwdriver in the middle, just to hold it down. Don't put your eyes over it because you don't want it shooting up and blinding you. So push it down with the screwdriver, slot your little brass fitting in. Just so it touches the screwdriver, lift that out gently and slide that in, and then push that in, and it should clip in place, like so. Put your cover cap on, and just repeat that on the underneath. Next up, got our safety switch. Gonna slide that through there, slot that on there. And you can see that's working. Now slide that through. So as you slide this in, you've got a plastic lug here, and you've got a little gap just above this hole where this will slide in. Slot that in there. Push that forward, that will line up with your screw hole. Flip it over, try not to bend that, and put your screw in. Now, our safety switch will activate. Everything's working. So now it's time to get the fan fitted. So we're gonna put some grease in here. I know we've re-greased that bearing, but it just helps to put a little bit of grease in there as well. our new fan. Now like I said earlier, make sure you've got the correct fan. You've got the fan, your little cup, your washer, and your spindle. If you get a rubber washer in here, you've got the incorrect fan because the Legend series does not have a rubber washer on here. So our little cup's just gonna go on there like so. Push in. Just wipe the excess. Put our fan on, washer, and our new spindle. And hold that. If you want, you can hold the armature with a rag, but all I do is hold the fan, give it a quick snap. And that's got it. That's plenty. So when you fit your front case in, just secure the safety switch, just hold it with your finger so you don't knock it off. Through there, just put our top bolt in. Tighten that up. Now we're gonna refix the axle, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of silicon spray on our grease.
there's no better way to put this through to paces now we've got the bag fitted then we're going to vacuum that wall carpet that's covered in dog hairs. So let's dive in and see how she copes. <laughs> So looking at those two now, it's came up absolutely awesome. There's a few scratches on there, but as you can see, the shine is just quite perfect. Got a tiny scratch there. But other than that, it just needs a new set of wheels and she's ready to rock and roll. But don't forget everything you used in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Kirby products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Right, so I hope you found that tutorial really helpful for those of you who have took your Legend 2 apart. As you can see, that Legend 2 came up amazing. It works really well. It picked up those dog hairs with ease, so it's running as new condition. Regreasing those bearings makes a massive difference to it. So if you haven't regreased your bearings, I'd advise you to do that on an older Kirby. Now I did put a second hand Heritage 2 lead on that Kirby. There is still a little bit of tape around it when it hooks in, so I'm gonna try and get another lead if I can. I'll try and get a Legend 2. It needs some new wheels and just the sticker on the front. But other than that, that Legend 2 is perfect. So again, those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any coming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment. If you like what I comment, I'll pin it to the video. So all I'll do is cut any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one.